this. Oh god, we're live. Yeah, we've been live for a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh dear god. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome back to uh the latest episode of Raz Reacts. I am once again joined by the Phoebeus Raccoonus. Hello Nicola. Hello. Ah! Hello Sovereign. <laughs> Thank you for the reset, Nicola. But um, this is um, a video reaction that uh, I'm pretty sure most of you have been looking forward to me reacting to, especially you, Sly, because um, <laughs> this is everything wrong with Ace Combat 6. This is everything wrong with your favorite game, your yeah. favorite Ace Combat game. And I am a self-proclaimed Amerian shill. So, um, uh, th this will be interesting. We'll see how many sins I disagree with. And, uh, I'm going yeah, with half. Probably. And, uh, we'll, we'll be able to. S the one thing that I. Well, there's two things I can remember in this video because I've seen it once, like about four years ago. I remember Tomcat uh one seven one. Um and... I don't know if you were in the community. Uh no I was but in... I remember hearing his voice. And I was like, no, Who's no, this I mean... guy? Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean like I don't know if you were if you were exposed to his videos at all. Like he was no, he was, he was the gone. Ace Combat... He was gone yeah. by the time I kinda of joined no, he he was the the ace combat youtuber before there were any other ace combat youtubers at all so but like, like ace combat fan and i like we are 100 percent inspired by him um and he's still around uh he uh yeah cross there was an a that. yeah there was um uh i don't remember the channel name but someone who does like military analysis videos uh, he did a video on Stonehenge for April Fool's Day, and uh, one of his patrons was Tomcat, and I was surprised to see his name there. So he's he's still, and, and he did say that he'll still be a fan. So he's still lurking around. But uh, now Bandai Namco did him dirty with with Seven, so they he doesn't want to be in public anymore, uh, which is fair, totally fair. He got he got screwed over so hard with that. I uh, uh, Nicola, Tomcat is apparently doing fine. Um, he's oh, he's doing not, fine, yeah. He's just not public. But um, I remember back when I was first doing my uh, Ace Combat uh, 6 Ace Hunt video guides, which was a long time ago, I think one of the comments was on, on the YouTube videos was somebody asking me if I was the new Tomcat. I was like, no, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Um, I I don't really know much about Tomcat, but uh, I I know he's big in the community, and I don't think I'll ever be able to fill his shoes. Um, he was good people. He was really good. Uh, he's British though, so uh, I, I a point against him for that. But <laughs> hello, Raid Optics. Um, yeah, I I do believe you have it right, Raid Optics. But um, the. My my niche in the Ace Combat community is basically just milking Ace Combat games for all they're worth for content. Um, well, that, believe me, that's what he did too. Oh well, pff. Um, like I'm currently. I mean, in... well, I mean that's that's any content creator like is focused on around any particular game franchise or anything. Like, I'm already. Uh, You're doing good. <laughs> I'm I'm already redoing for archive purposes. Uh, and for new new audience purposes, the carrier runs. And I've actually come up with one for Ace X, which I hadn't done the first time because I didn't have the ability to. And that was a lot easier because it's Ace X had the little anchor icon in the hangar, which means this is carrier capable. I keep forgetting that's there. <laughs> Um, and I also, um, oh, ad break in progress. Well. No, we can continue shooting the shit until it's done. Yeah. 
Uh, it's going to be one minute, 15 seconds. But yeah, um, I've also came up with uh, Project Wingman carrier planes. It's not as many as you'd think. Um, Do we actually know which ones are carrier? No, cause... I'm going based off the real life carrier oh, okay. So you got the um, F4, or FD-14, obviously. The Accipiter, because that could be on a carrier. Because uh, the Harrier can be. Uh, the F well, yeah, if it, if it comes down from vertical, then yeah. <laughs> the FE-18. Um, the Nosferatu, because the Nosferatu is carrier. Yeah. And um, I'm throwing in the SK-25U because there is a carrier variant. Yeah, there is. So, I'm throwing it in. <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be interesting. You're right, though. That's not a lot. Like, no. so, some of those, I can see some of those missions not being good. <laughs> well, I mean, it's also I mean, if modern, you just so... <laughs> yeah, but if you just end up with the... Um, um, I mean, if I oh use God. the vanilla weapons, then yeah, it's going to suck. But since I'm not using the vanilla weapons, as in I have a mod that lets me throw rail guns onto anything. Mm. <laughs> so to compensate, I'm going on hard because that's the hardest difficulty you can while still keeping Monarch's boss uh, siren for Crimson 1 on Kings. And then I'm also throwing on some modifiers, so um, it's not going to be a walk in the park, but still. Um, if, if you end up using the super plane for every mission, then that's different, but... No, I'm not. Okay. I think I'm using the super plane for all the missions starting from Red Sea on. That's so Red fair. Sea, Presidia, and Kings. Um, but you'll that's be fair. seeing XFA a lot of... 27 treatment. You'll be seeing a lot of uh, Tomcats and Hornets. Yeah. Um, but then I've also got in the works a redux of the Aircraft Showcase series. Because um, I didn't have Project Wingman archived. I didn't have Ace Combat X at all. Um, and half the DLC showcase for a six is either corrupted or missing so yeah um Fun. what you said um no i said fun oh yeah um but what the aircraft showcases is i just take a game go through all the aircraft find the mission that would work best for it and fly it. Um, and I also try and do my research as to the real life when it came out in service, when it retired, who uses it, what the model for the SP weapons are, that sort of thing. So it's a little more in depth, but um, yeah. Those are the two main series. I, oh, yeah, and then I also have a... Oh, Hail Hydrate. Thank you, Ray. Drink one water bottle. Two more shall take its place. I'm drinking caffeine. Hail Hydrate. So I drank a lot of water. How could you? <laughs> um, I also have a Project Women stream coming up soon where it's only the FD-14 with the cannon um, monarch color um, because uh, I'm doing a quote-unquote cannon run. So I'm going with Prez is insane and she's adding on whatever weapons she can. No, that's not Sen, Ray. That's uh, Sly. Hello. Uh, he's the creator of the video we're going to be reacting to. Um, and without further ado, let's get this party started. Okay. Hopefully the sound balance works. 
Nicola will be here to tell you if it's not. Yes. 40 minutes. In a game about flying fighter jets on large battlefields, we start off looking at a house. Your daughter is about to go on a field trip, and you're sitting outside reading a book holding her lunch bag? Why aren't you inside helping her get ready? Worst mother of the year. In a game about flying fighter jets on large battlefields, the first vehicle we see is a school bus. This is nitpicky. See you later, Mom. You. Did, it's, did it's Matilda very just try to slap her? But it's extremely nitpicky. But like, but like, but like. <laughs> So compare those... it to five, compare it to zero, like, compare it to four. <laughs> what, what I see with this is that we're starting yes, off in yes. a very peaceful country. Yes, I understand. Okay. There, video volume is at half. Her mom in the face? Or was she trying to high five oh, the you air? Can't excuse this what even was that? Dance with an angel, Mom. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. My fan theory of why uh, dance with angels is a thing. Dance. With I know the angels why it's a thing. I know why it's a thing. Is a marion for go fuck yourself. But that means that her daughter just told her to go fuck yourself. And the Amerians are based off the British. Nugget said that in Scotland, that's not unheard of. I don't people. care what Nugget says. Her, like, <laughs> ten-year-old daughter just told her mother to go fuck yourself. I'm okay with it. Some of them will get cringy, yes. Others actually make sense. Listen, it's the it, it was the obvious thing. I had to do the running sin for it. I know, like, I know. Generic school bus is generic. Oh look, a reference to an ace combat game with a better story. Hey. So I, I really don't like how I uh didn't expand on that because I think no one understood what sin I was trying to make there. Um, what, the bus or it, the bird? Well, the bus was because it just says school bus. It doesn't actually tell you what school it is. That's why I said generic school. I, 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 sh I should have actually explained that one better, too. Um, no, I was talking about the bird, because I, mean, so I don't know if they were... To four? No, no. I I, I I was referencing five, uh, the ending oh. in Aurad, uh when the soul explodes, because we see a bird going onto a lamppost. I don't know if they were trying to reference that with that, but I I was definitely trying to reference that with my sin. I, I what I should have done is a or because a six and for uh, a six does a lot of story borrowing from two Ace Combat games. One Ace Four, two Ace X. Yeah, yeah, it does. No, I, I, I just I was I was trying to make a funny joke about five because that 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 lamppost that bird on a lamppost is very like that's exactly in in the ending of five. So I I should what I should have done was put five's ending with that on the split screen. But they really need to put that on there. You got to be a little bit more uh, specific, Nicola. <laughs> yeah, what are you referring to? Oh. The fact that it takes inspiration from two games. Or which games, or because at least with X, a, a lot of people don't realize like there's there's some X in, in six, especially because you know the uh, guy on. But well, that and most people don't know that X exists. Well, yeah, because it's been trapped in his it's from our house. That iron X giant, so much the pride of Grace Maria, beyond the bridge, you can make go, out go. an ancient castle. Which is even more famous than the bridge. Then why is the bridge the pride of Grace Maria? Come on, Melissa, make up your mind. I know what you're gonna say. Face my daughter and the others got on a bus to see this morning. One of the biggest issues of this I game's cutscenes is explaining events to you that you can either infer or was already explained just 60 seconds ago. Like, 
take New York, for example, there's the Statue of Liberty, um, there's Times Square, there's the Brooklyn Bridge. Need I go on? No one considers Times Square the pride of, of New York. Actually, actually, that doesn't actually that it perfectly illustrates your point. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You're right. <laughs> Biddy is still over me. Okay. Um, let's see here. I have to pull up something. Uh, let me pull up my sound effect on the stream. Is that better? Finally, our first aircraft, Good and it's fly. the F-4, which we can't even fly in this game. I don't want to fly the F-4, it's a piece of shit! Your orders are to I shoot down care. the enemies, what more do you want? That's three. First, is this Tomcat's gameplay? Uh, no, this is Ace Combat Fan's gameplay. Okay, well at least he's using the correct mic. Yeah, he, it, I, I specifically chose him because he did a full playthrough of the F-15. Good. Three aircraft that are taking off at the same time. They're not all Garuda 1, are they? Go ahead and I'll follow your lead. Never was good with directions anyhow. Foreshadowing. Also, if this guy isn't good with directions, how is he still in the military? And the Golden King... I mean, to be fair... In most air forces, if you're good, you get a little bit more leniency than another branch's military no. because no, flying no, no, is still mostly raw talent. It can't but, really be taught. No, but listen. The point is that if he if he has done the Malik Desert bullshit before, like if he's disobeyed direct orders before. Like, how is, how is he still here? I don't think he's blatantly disobeyed orders yet. Yeah, okay, but still. <laughs> if this guy isn't if good he's with just directions... willing to admit to that on an open mic. He's referring to navigation. Sure, sure. How is he still in the military? And the Golden King smile upon us. See, this is actually a really cool line, since the Golden King is the pride of their country. Unless you listen to Melissa. That's a much better battle intro than Dancing with Angels. Too bad we never hear it again. Okay, so... I am full agreement with Sly on this one. Yeah. I want to hear May the Golden King smile upon us a lot more. And that is why my stream announce announcement message is may the golden king smile upon us Instead it's like dancing with angels it, it, it's like you're fighting for your country rather than i'm gonna go fuck myself like <laughs> well no it's telling the stovies to go fuck themselves no That's but they're saying like it's time for us to dance with the angels like um yeah th there's <laughs> multiple things at the end. They eventually start... I do like the idea of the Amerians starting to call their pilots angels. That makes sense to me. Especially with Talisman's unofficial Red Baron title of Angel of Ameria. Um, but... I, I, I like calling planes and, and their pilots angels. I like that, but <laughs> yes, I, I, as the ace six shell, I will admit dancing with angels was a overblown. Do I Far think overblown. all of them need to be replaced? No, some of them, yes. Anyway, the mission designers thought, you know, what's funnier than one head on missile in the first three seconds of the game, two head on missiles in the first three seconds of the game, and Technically, I counted four. That, that's why I said, why should we stop there? Also, that's, uh, are you paying attention? If not, fuck you. <laughs> and if you notice, whenever I do this mission on stream, 
I immediately bank to the right. <laughs> as soon as I get control. Because <laughs> I know what's happening. That that's one thing you'll find out real quick. You uh you bank as soon as you can. Why should we stop there? We are currently in a Garuda one, call shots. What happened to that whole not good with directions crap? I've got an idea on the invaders. We're engaged with the Astovakia military. A rich country like Ameria, you'd think they'd have satellites that would have seen this large air force suddenly approaching from the east. I mean, yeah. Ah, I damn it! Right next that. to my ear, Shamrock. That's Namco Arcade reference number one. Again, you can't tell me Ameria doesn't have satellites that could have detected something like this. Okay, this, this, uh, hear me out. This is a long shot, but I'm hearing you. Ameria gets all of its military tech and its briefing stuff from Macmillan Heavy Industries. Which is a co sure. corporation owned and based in Nordnavik. Okay. Nordnavik. If you're about to pull some Northern Wings shit on me, t ten years before Northern Wings, five years before Northern Wings was a thing, well, I'm gonna no. punch you. Nordnavik, we know, wants to maintain neutrality at all costs. Who's to say they're sure. not running their satellites and maybe they just didn't tell the Americans? Because. What better way to maintain what? your position in in the uh, audience? If you're if you're power? running, no, 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 no. If you're running satellites for another country and you see this giant goddamn manta ray, you're just gonna be like, oh, that's weird. Anyway, military industrial what? complex no. lie. They're getting ready for massive profits. You're you're still talking about a huge conspiracy that I I will not accept without <laughs> confirmation that the satellites were indeed run by Nordanovic. Especially because we see satellites later. I like I said it was a stretch. I'm trying I'm grasping at straws here. It would be a funny headcanon, but Stock Seagull sound effect. I didn't hear anything. The mission designers thought, you know what's funnier you than one Nimbus missile catching new players by surprise? Two Nimbus missiles catching new players by surprise. And why should we stop there? Yeah. Uh, Nimbus was fun the first time around. <laughs> oh, yeah. I promise we'll be back for you. Just a Still little longer. That mission. Still I little promise. Little if by a little longer you mean over half a year later, then yeah, it won't be that long. Our capital, Grace Maria, has been temporarily occupied by Estovakian forces. If by temporary you mean... The nation of Estovakia had... Technically, temporary means not permanent. And by the end of the game, Grace Maria is back in a very... They days. don't know that yet, though. <laughs> by mission two, they're about to capitulate. <coughs> well, yeah, that's because they wouldn't let the protagonist do his thing. I know, but I'm saying... Temporary is very optimistic country. thinking. Oh, would have been nice to know that in advance. In response, the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted a resolution of open war against the Federal Republic of Estovakia. You're going to declare war on us? Fine. Then we'll declare war on you. I mean, that's usually how it happens. I know, I know. I couldn't no. resist the funny joke. Matilda! Matilda. <laughs> what the hell was the point of the Estovakian air show at that precise moment? Especially since we drove away. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. Oh no, it's exposition time. That night, your father Say what and you I... I Melissa like said, my daughter, and now she's I talking to us as okay. if we're her daughter. Come on, writers, make up your minds. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. So it's literally Belka. This is literally the Belkan War all over again. No. This is Laysath. No. It's Yuktabania. 
basically, uh, this is what I mean by a six head X elements. Um, the whole premise. Of no, the no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to stop you right there. Th it, th this is not comparable because Navarro was an arms manufacturer that became the head of the country. The generals were not. This is this is a straight rip from Belka because they were they were a heavily right wing government that promised a return to their prosperous uh, past. That 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 is literally what what uh, the um, uh, the Ralt party did in Belka. Oh. I was just referring to the fact that um, antagonist nation has civil war. Protagonist nation sends over aid. That part Antagonist is. Antagonist yeah. nation uses or misuses said aid. Actually, I don't recall if Aurelia did send aid to Mesa. Navarro used it to, to fuel his Fenrir program. I gotta look that up because I'm not 100% on that. Uh, Navarro was able to convince Layseth, oh yeah, um, Aurelia totally um, screwed us over. Because Aurelia was just prosperous. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> In any case, um, the, the Civil uh, War turning into a war of retribution, that, that part is taken from, from Max. The, but... the main difference, other than, I guess, the Rald play that I didn't think about, um, is that Estevakia at least had a little bit of a justification in the fact that uh, um, Ulysses totally fucked them over. That's still not a justification of war. And, well, I, I meant, by justification, I meant, like, um, they weren't totally evil. Oh, no, no, no. The, I... Like <laughs> regarding like like Navarro, like the generals still are. Oh yeah, they but are. hello, cross compared... welcome stream. You 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 made it. But um, I have a lot more sympathy for the Estevakians than I do for the Lysathians. Um, a lot more sympathy is really stretching it. I because I keep thinking about that fucking asshole in uh, Grace Maria Patrol. That's like we're back for you, Ameria. Like a lot of the Estevakians are like. They have a lot of money, so they should give it to us. Kind of like entitlement. So, I don't know. I, maybe it's because I got to know a lot of them through the ass assault records, and there are multiple um, Estevakians that show honor, whereas I can't think of any Lysapian that does. You could show honor on the battlefield and still be a complete fucking asshole. Like that, how many how many honorable people were there on the Confederate side of the Civil War? Like, doesn't mean that the Confederacy. You like, I have any sympathy for it. Well, the nation, no, but those. But that's what I mean. Like, ha having sympathy for the Estevakians is like the, the the populace. Like, sure, I guess, but like, I also feel the same for the Belkids and the Lysapians. Like, it's it's neither here nor there. It doesn't affect anything. They're still. The assholes <laughs> invading the country. <laughs> five streaks. Thank you for the five uh, stream streak cross. The map designers didn't have to make up a third country. They could have given that land to Ameria. But no, it totally makes more sense to have a third country that never shows up in this game to help Ameria or Estavakia. Also, why is Cassad Island given equal importance to the country names? Because Where the hell are these cameras that they can get views like that? Me, me. Aha! So there are satellites. My sins for Ameria not paying attention are vindicated. Namu Go 765 references here, 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 and here. My husband. A fighter pilot. We know! I walk on. Kind of a dick move for the bus to just leave them there and make them walk the rest of the way. Couldn't it drive them a little closer to the refugee camp? They probably ran out of fuel. Melissa, it's my name. Or he had painted down. my name on his angel. I'm going to hand this one off to our resident Ace Combat 6 YouTuber. That nose art is incredibly safe for work. 
pilots are usually a lot more risque with their designs. He's not wrong. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Grace Maria, occupying... Cross says, in order to incorporate Nord Novik, you would have had Kassed be part of the kingdom instead of Amaria. My, my thinking is just yes. that I wish... I wish there was more, like, like how, um, in, uh, in seven, like we don't get a lot of, uh, we actually, we get nothing from either the King of Erusia or the president of Osea. Um, I just want a little bit more world building. The fact that Nordenovic is a direct neighbor of Ameria and like up, up to Nordenovic's border is being invaded by Estavakia. Like I just kind of wish we got some kind of mention of them, or like some something, anything. But do we the game have pretends like a map that shows the maximum extent to the Estevakian takeover? Actually, yeah, you're right. We don't. Cause... But the assumption is that we like they do because you know we're going to like Silvot and stuff. That's pretty deep in, and they they circle. Oh the... no, I. I just don't know if they went that far north because I don't think there's anything. If you go back, it's it doesn't have to go that far north because Nordenovic's border cuts pretty, pretty close to the midpoint of of Ameria. Um, because no, my I, thinking I, I, is they, the Estevakian military, um, basically chased the main forces of Ameria to crush them first and then take over the rest of the country at their leisure. Possible, but again, like, I, I think about Silvat, like, I, I'm not sure. Silvat and Moloch and, uh, not Moloch, uh, Ragnar, um, like, I, I, I'm not so sure well, about that. Well, Silvat was still in Amerian hands. It was under siege. Well, they circled them, though. <laughs> My point is that they circled them from all directions. They island hopped. They skipped Silva because strategically it wasn't as important as, say, Rogno. Or, I mean, uh, or, uh, rewind the video. Or rewind the video to that, rewind the video to that map, and you'll see that Nordenovic's border goes pretty no, deep I, into... No, I know. I know what you're talking about. I'm just saying... I, I, I just... All I'm saying is that if they went to the effort of putting a third country where one didn't exist before this game, they could have just done something with that. It's like it's like Shekhov's gun. Like, wh why are they there if not to do something? Um, Cross, Nordnovik was already giving America, Maria supplies and aircraft because most of their shit came from McMillan Heavy Industries, which is owned by Norton Novik. All we know about that is that they gave them the briefing software. We don't know anything beyond that. I mean... It's a safe assumption, but there's nothing in the lore that says that. <laughs> the deep lore of them having clones. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, McMillan's... If you dig deep, they're actually kind of more scary than Grunder. Oh, yes, and I. Uh, we, the problem is that we haven't had uh, a good opportunity to explore that lore. Should I snooze or should I let the ads roll? Uh, snooze, because we're going back into the video. Snooze for five minutes. Okay, I only get three of those. Forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. We know what the capital is. You just said it five seconds ago. I'm, I'm <laughs> considering that a bad look. How is Matilda still? No, it's not bad localization. It's a, it's, it's, it's a Japanese way of talking, no. um, of, of writing so they dialogue. literally translate instead of you know. It's a literal translation. I, mean, I guess then makes, you could. Makes sense for. It, it is a, it, it does make it a bad localization in that case, but yeah. Also, I will defend that instance of Go Dance the Angels, mister, to my <laughs> dying grave, because that instance, she just kicked a stovey Maybe. in the knees or the dick, whichever one you want to think. The, the head and, cannon is... Well, my, my, I, I always to go pictured... fuck himself. I always pictured the guy was like, 
leaning down to her and she punched him in the face. Um, yeah. But imagining that she kicked him in the nuts is, is definitely the best one. And that one was literally, go fuck yourself. That little translation didn't go well, but then again, Ace 7 has Euctavania. It's Euctabon! A7 had a lot of his pronunciations. Alive. She went on the school bus to the castle, and Melissa found the school bus's wreckage. I'm just saying, the story isn't straight here. Darn the dog. Plot armor, anime, the kids can't die. It, it, she found the wreckage. They might have gone off the school bus by that point. Blah, 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 blah. Anime law says the kids don't die. It, yeah. Especially in a game rated T for teen. It would have been very dark to have her daughter die. Like, but, but, but Ace Combat has been getting darker recently, so yeah, maybe we could because, see that. Because um, kids have been forced to grow up earlier and earlier. No, it's not that. We're we're seeing actual war crimes, is what I mean. In this game about flying aircraft, we've seen school buses, cars, tanks, and now trains up close. The ratio of aircraft to non-aircraft vehicles is a lot lower than it should be. Jesus. At least there are no creators to mar the land. Am I They're wrong? No, but I don't consider that sin-worthy. I mean... They've kind of messed up... The, the airport. So... Roll the video. <laughs> Why wasn't Ameria ravaged by the Ulysses Fragments too? After all, we saw craters all over Usia back Too in Ace Combat 4. Why do we only see craters here when we're in Estovakia? Go dance with the angels! It's the base. Oh, thanks, Laner. You haven't spoken a word until now, but good to know you'll be here to point out the obvious. And thus begins Sly's hatred of them. It's such a stupid line! <laughs> like, yes, I can tell it's the enemy propaganda. What is the... <laughs> More enemy bombers incoming. There's quite a few this time. Tomcat? Hmm. Very professional analysis, Ghost Eye. Enemy bomber formation is confirmed down. I have to say you handled things well. Hope all that praise on us has got me a little too red in the face to go back home. Alright, I gotta up my sound again because Nicola can't hear me. <laughs> Alright. Slower the The video is if I go any lower, you guys can't hear the video. Because we're at like a quarter volume. Roger that, Avalanche. I'll just report you as gunned down and missing in action. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, Ghost Eye. I have to say, the chemistry and banter between the Amerian pilots is my favorite part of this game. I'm not made of stone. Take a sin off. My daughter is alive. Um, oh shit. Ad break. I'm gonna have to let it go because I only got two sins. Or I sins know. Left. Good. But, but go ahead. Um, you still got 30 seconds. Um, I was gonna say the. I'll admit the cutscene dialogue is not the best. That's an understatement. I'm going to marry and shill, Sly. This is hard for me to admit. Shut <laughs> up. But I will I, I will contend that the chemistry in mission between the Amerian forces is the best written and best voice acted in any of the Ace Combat games. It's very good. It's definitely up there. Uh, what I didn't... Something that I should have... Um, because I've been thinking about this. Like The the problem is that we get a lot of that during the post-mission, like 
after the mission accomplished uh, thing comes up. The problem is that, especially with the recent Ace Combat games, we're getting a lot of dialogue in that post-mission accomplished section. Um, Legacy was really bad about that. Like, you, you could go almost five minutes long in, in those areas. Yeah. Um, I will give Project Gleeman this. Um, after you beat a mission for the first time, you can skip that dialogue for subsequent playthroughs. <laughs> I'm thankful that Project Wingman make allows that option, but it's not very obvious to a lot of people. Like you specifically have to pause the game to even see that option is there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I would have appreciated some kind of like after finishing the game for the first time, some kind of like press start to skip, and then it brings up the menu. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, they'll yeah, have I, that I, capability we, in Ace Eight. Yeah, we, we, we need that in the next Ace Combat game because because the post I, I like some post mission uh some post mission accomplished dialogue, but uh it, six, it really started to get lengthy with six. Um uh, and some of the good banter is unfortunately in those sections and it just kind of drags the game drags some of the missions on a little too long, but But my thing is the in mission banter um, it combined with the allied assault mechanic. Um, oh yeah, yeah, it's it, it's good. They 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 wrote the dialogue pretty well for like incorporating that mechanic. Like it was good. But with those two, my things problems with the mechanic aside, with those two things combined, it's the only Ace Combat game that I actually feel invested. In the other unit's um, safety and well-being, um, especially the ones that keep showing up, like for the ground units, Warlock, Quacks, Steel Gunners, uh, Flagship Marigold. I help out anytime I can get. It's <laughs> one. Um, the Marigold is the fucking goat, and two. I mean, they give pretty good fire support, and ESM. Um, and then for air units, you got uh, the boys of and girls. I was saying boys in general. Um, Windover, Avalanche, and Sky Kid. They're always there. Specifically, specifically the boys in Windover. <sighs> and only the boys in Windhover. <coughs> let's, let's let's be very clear about this. Yeah, Cross. If Snake Pit's on the field, help him out because he may not help you in Allied support, but he becomes your pocket ESM. He will bank that fucking E seven six seven as best he can to keep up with your insane maneuver. Five was the first game where I think like, and I think I think that was like some of their experimental grounds for some of that storytelling of having like a bunch oh, of yeah. groups of people. Uh, Alpha, not for the Bravo, Charlie, and Delta show up first and let fuse and then show up again in the desert missions, and then Sea Goblin as well. Um, so yeah, I, I I think that six six is uh, like army units and air force units like kind of borrowed like I, I think that's they started with five because we don't see that in any of the previous games except maybe four with some of its units but but what i like best about six is they give you assault records for them yes yeah six is unparalleled when it comes to assault records since you get so many so many details in the lore about your allies the only problem is a lot of that really kind of should have been in the game Given that the game is fifteen missions long, they could have they could have padded it out a little bit more. But yeah. then again, the missions are also half an hour long in some cases. So forty five minutes if you uh, go for all the kills. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, as done, so let's roll the video again. I've somewhere in Grace Maria. We know. It took me days <laughs> to get here. Days of walking. What have you been eating to stay alive this long? Do you want to know, Spock? 
couldn't Ludmilla have just kinda. driven on the other side? I kinda do. There aren't any other cars around. You've been ordered to start the mission now. Uh, oh, so then why are we sitting here? <laughs> why are there multiple spawn points? I Look at how close they are to each other. Ones. They could have saved this for the next mission. Namco Arcade Reference Number 2 Namco Arcade Reference Number 3 So wait, does that include you guys, or...? Tomcat, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that it's a safe assumption that you're not supposed to shoot friendlies. I think I that's remember. rule of engagement number one, that they drill into you in boot camp. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be said. I don't remember... A lot of Tomcat's uh, lines that I gave him uh, were things that he used. To... Uh, well, yeah, that's because I, I specifically asked for him because uh, in a lot of his six gameplay videos, he said some of the things that I asked for him to say for this video. That's why, like, I don't remember. I remember one of them, but I don't remember some of like if some were or not. But uh, safe assumption is that. If he said it in this video, it's probably because I remembered him saying it in one of his videos. <laughs> also, uh, cross uh, in in an invasion. T tell me, tell me which which Amerian diners were were open along the path to Kessed after they blew up the bridge. <laughs> um, I was just gonna say that she um, subsisted off of. Uh, Raccoons, <laughs> ferrets, <laughs> squirrels. Yeah, exactly. I I, I want to know what Melissa was doing. I want to see her roughing it out in the wild. <laughs> she just Ozzy Osbourne squirrels, man. <laughs> Fair enough. Let me see that. Give me that cutscene. <laughs> It'll give her a little bit more respect as a character. Um, that would also up the rating to very minimum and for mature. Then they could kill Matilda. Let's go. Random Estevakian would be great at Cinemasons. The final remnant of Estevakian forces on this island is concentrated on Mount Marcello in northern Kesset. Wait, didn't you say in the last debriefing... Estevakian forces were driven off the front line and have retreated to Bartolomeo Fortress, which is located in the center of the island. Center isn't north. I'm gonna say this once. <sighs> no one ever said... Marion High Command had intelligence. Nope. The Marion military is the proof that intelligence is a dumb stat. <laughs> God. Am I wrong? They're so bad. Marion is the fighter slash barbarian. They don't deserve to win this war. They have the power of God and RCL on their side, Sly. They don't deserve to win this war. <laughs> uh, hello? Two unknown enemy fighters have been detected. Two enemy fighters approaching. Reaper's <laughs> Emblem! Considering Bartolomeo's strategic importance in holding back the Amerians, you'd think that the stricken team would deploy more than two aircraft as top cover, especially since the Igaion is the perfect mobile base for them. You guys lost the last two major operations, and you're currently losing this one, which will kick you off Cassette Island. I think Ameria's doing pretty well. Okay, I think the reason why they only sent, at least gameplay-wise, why they only sent in two Strigans was it was giving you a yes 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 but I don't think you're technically supposed to fight Strigan yet because they've never been taken yes out. yes yes but come on if you're trying to stop them from advancing as I said if the Strigan team had decided Cross is right those two Strigans are a pain so much they'd use out support to kill them or just straight up use the CFA 44's rail guns. Um, We're treating this as a first playthrough. Yeah, I know. But um, 
what really sucks is you have to kill those two Strigans in order to unlock their assault records. Yeah. It's annoying. Decided to send more than two aircraft, you may very well have gotten the job done right here and now. Our post to the Iron Bridge was shot to hell by enemy aircraft. Those ever so helpful choppers were nice enough to wait until the last second to come bail us out of that death trap. First off, how are you still alive? Second, of course the choppers had to wait. The area was being blanketed by aircraft fire. I'd live sweet and easy on this island for the rest of my days if I could. The flyboys, on the other hand, are workaholics. They drove a whole mess of enemy troops off this rock. And that's why we're holed up in this damn landing ship playing five-card stud. I don't know what those flyboys are trying to pull, but this is the worst landing operation I've ever heard of. What is this guy's problem? He's making it sound like he'd just rather let Estovakia rule all the mainland. Some patriot. I always knew Donny had sticky fingers. Apparently he was robbing banks before he joined the service. This. What the hell? Who let him in the army? We've got to get to that bank before the Estovakians get their filthy paws on our loot. You're committing bank robbery. A federal felony. Against your homeland. It doesn't matter that Estovakians are there, it's still a Marian property when the Amerians come back. What kind of soldier are you? Get back to your station and fight the damn war. We have organized. Okay, so my comment is Sly, who do you hate more, Lanner or the Bank Job Boys? Bank Job Boys. Because <laughs> uh, their, their involvement in the story amounts to freeing Matilda. Like, that's it. And transporting Melissa and Camilla to Grace Maria. No, because time. Melissa M Melissa was perfectly content subsisting off of squirrels, raccoons, and ferrets until she met the villa. So they could have gotten to Grace Maria just fine. Okay, she can do that, but not Ludmilla. <laughs> she can feed Ludmilla. <laughs> Maybe Ludmilla's allergic to squirrels. Then find an owl. I don't know. <laughs> ...enough troops and intelligence to retake the mainland. Soon the Amerian military will initiate an operation designed to take back the Amerian mainland. You just said that. Again, Japanese. To be honest, I forget a lot of times that there's a naval portion of this mission. Because I like never do it. Yeah, because the the um said the guy who said he was always going to support the marigold. Um, well, the reason why I don't this one is the airport is right. You get the airport, and then the middle section is right there. And even when you get marigold, it's way too far to the east to really be of help in the mission update. Yeah, it is. And I think you send this later, or somebody else made a point, but you're kind of blowing up your own shit. Yes, we, yeah, we, we do, we do. He's trying to run away from the battle to steal from your central bank in the capital. Bravery is the last word I'd use to describe him. Body shaming. Mission accomplished. We love your work, Garuda. Moving on to support the main fleet. You are the main fleet. <laughs> That's a reference. No I wonder don't we're think beating anyone got so badly. That. Only military um, newbies would put artillery by itself without any anti-air support. You're saying? I was, uh, yeah, I was gonna let Tomcat finish. Um, when I said you are the main fleet, uh, that's a reference to the Princess Bride. I don't think uh, anyone got that reference. No, I didn't. And I've seen the Princess Bride. I just didn't catch it. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. Is it just me, or is this one guy in Warlock super hungry? Technically, that was two guys. Uh, it sounded like the same They're guy both in Warlock, but the voice is silent. The second one is the guy that leads Warlock. Lock, and the other one is just some random warlock guy. But yes, they're very hungry because they didn't get fed. <laughs> Melissa took all the animals. No, McKnight!
might need all the food! Does this radio ever play anything besides a brand new day? Okay, you and I both know that every strange real country has it's one song! It's not right! It's not right! <laughs> Osia has The Journey Home. It's Arusha not has right! has Him Says. <laughs> and the rest of Osia has the Hymn of Liberty. It's not right! But we know this. But I feel we share a common goal sit it regardless. that goes far beyond words. Ludmilla just poisoned you with the exhaust. You're roadkill now. Not Namco arcade That's a reference lot of before. exhaust. She should be coughing her lungs out. Coughing, yes, but not... Wait, is it Strigon or Strigon? Yes. Okay, what you heard for Strigon was the Texan drawl of Southern Estovakia. Nothing? That, 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 that's, that's a funny way of spelling headcanon. That's a funny way of saying something that the game doesn't explain. Uh, great Optics, the, uh, it's not just the FCU. The ISAT was made of 18 countries, not just the FCU. Code 1, code for takeoff. Okay, that AA gun firing is pretty cool. Let's take a sin off, why not? I love so much. It's very good. Wait. No way we'd ever lose to a bunch of guys like this. Says the POW I in the besieged capital. I wish they would. I got a little piece of advice for you. More off. Go dance with the angels. Go dance with the angels. Token black guy. You know this mission will be just as happy-go-lucky as the last view when it says shimmering death. Salamna Peaks in central Anya. That section of land is an ideal route for our troops to take. In terms of topography this. and weather as well. I, I deliberately I had a clip of somebody, or somebody did a clip of me deliberately playing this cutscene out just to piss you off. I hate this so much. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I, I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. As well, there is How no the military in the world. Ideal in topography and weather. They're mountains. Tanks will take an eternity to traverse the area, and it must be freezing and constantly iced up. This sounds like a suicidal route to take. It's a steep mountain path covered in. Still can't get the usage of the token. X. It's an American thing. No, no, no. It, it it's a meme. It's a Cinema Sins uh, reference. Um. Because usually, uh, it's not just an American thing, it's definitely also a Japanese thing, uh, that it's 99% white people. So, the it's a trope Japan that there's a token... It's 99% white people, it's 99% Japanese people. Media! <laughs> Japanese people are white, technically, in some... In anime! Eh. White, fair skinned, I should say. That, that That's okay, what I should okay. say. They're not white, but 99% uh, fair skinned in uh, in media. Uh, so you'll end up with usually token black guy. Like there's one single, single black person in the entire uh, game or anime or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, it, I, I, it, it's, it's, it, it's a reference to that. Wasn't that kind of like May? Sat satired of in South Park with white characters. I don't know. I don't watch South Park. Yeah. I will give Seven credit. Like we have much more diversity in Seven than uh, any other Ace Combat game ever. Well, you're also flying as Osia, so it would make more sense. No, but in general, it's still like you you still have a lot more representation there. Which is extremely difficult for our ground unit to advance through. It also renders it vulnerable to air attacks. So why are you using it? God, I'm sending this three it. times. This is God, insane. Fucking damn it. If an emergency <laughs> happens to occur, deal with it in any way you see fit. Foreshadowing. Seriously, who are they fooling when they throw a line like this? I told you to go before we left. I think this one was uh, 
he, he, he said that in the video once too? and I wanted him to say it again. Just in case you skipped the briefing, here's some more foreshadowing for you. I can hardly see a thing. Visibility is perfect. I don't know what you're talking about. He's flying down in the clouds. I don't know. Down in the clouds looks fine here. Oh, these A-10s must have come from Operation Bunker Shot. A-10, A-10. What the hell is going on with Sky Kid's camera? With also, Namco Arcade reference number five. Super maneuverability. Namco Arcade reference number six. Excuse you, Sarek, but I shot down that jammer. Don't take credit for my kills. Okay, that has always pissed me off, where they're like, I did it! I got it! Like, no, you fucking did it! That was mine! I have to think Other that, turn. like, Wait a minute. Because the idea is, we, we revisit this at the Igaion. I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll wait until then. Okay. Incoming! All planes break! Ghost Eye is a terrible AWACS if it couldn't detect the cruise missiles before they detonated. The Our super weapon is unstoppable, cliche. Nimbus explosions rotate with your camera. If only we could have shot him down at Grace Mary. Your good for nothing AWACS didn't even mark the drones on your IFF, if they were even there in the first place. Did the game even render them in the first mission? I'm not I feel sure. so lucky to have met it up did. with Ludmilla. Yeah, they did. We've I run into so killed. many checkpoints. Yeah, but still, I Ghost Eye should have marked them. I don't know what we done without her passport. But you don't have an Estovakian passport. How are you getting through the checkpoints? It's a but as we travel through these wide open spaces, enemy that troops mean are few and far between. That as really doesn't mean anything during military occupation. we for quite some time now without spotting a single Estovakian military vehicle. Spoke too soon, cliche. Technically, that's I tried to explain to them that Ludmilla yes, is still. no threat. She is a student from Nordnavik, but I've never been much of a liar. What are you talking about? You literally just told the truth. Just then, something roars in the sky. The lie is a lie of omission. Saying that she I know, I know, but she told the truth. And rolled a nat one on her persuasion. Well, actually, Convenient. it literally, I, what I should have also sent was that uh, she didn't, it didn't matter whatsoever what she said, because they, they figured out that Ludmilla is Estevaki because of her thick accent. It's like, it doesn't matter what Melissa said. Yeah. Uh, convenient. On the battlefield, you have to put luck aside and take what you get. Like a pile of conveniences. It's time for me to dance with the angels. Then I'll give you the lowdown on our mission. W what? No one asked you a question. You're the first person who spoke. <laughs> what even is this writing? Small unmanned aerial Again, vehicles, cruise Japanese missiles, and literal. heavy command cruisers oh. are all closely like related in terms of functionality. Not even close. I like this and mission have been too. uncovered as the briefing. enemy's secret weapons by our analysis results. Their super duper secret weapon that we've now seen twice already? First of all, the small unmanned aerial vehicles are operated from long distance and approach their intended well, targets to destroy them. In step two, a special electronic signal inside of each small unmanned aerial vehicle is sent to a cruise missile for guidance. And for the final the step, the cruise missile that was guided by a small unmanned aerial vehicle hits and destroys its attack target. That is how the enemy's cruise missile system operates. This is the worst briefing ever. I could have told you all of that just from playing the last mission. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. You got it. <coughs> the city's already taken. That's why we're trying to liberate it. There is... I don't know if you send this map. There is one aspect of this mission that I would like to send. There's an airfield on that island there. There's no operation to liberate it. Why not? Because it's right smack dab in the middle of the city. So? It is the... If, if, you, if you remember, uh, you must remember because you play this game a lot, uh, that is one of the most heavily defended parts of the city. Like... 
yeah, I, I know. Having an operation to liberate that would would be like it. it Make it it's literally the same thing operation. as like. It's a fucking guided missile battleship. <laughs> well, no, but that gets right back to destroying your own shit. <laughs> Float the hangers, man. Let me land there. That's my spot. Maybe a chance with those guys watching over us up there. What are you talking about? Uh. <laughs> Donnie would be great at cinema sins. I love how much that pain in this. <laughs> I can't. I have to compliment them. <laughs> I could feel the cringe in your voice. It was delicious. What I tried to, what I tried to do with uh, that second part was to sound like I was throwing up in my mouth. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how to get that across on the microphone. But... Oh, genius! How could you have guessed our strategy? Could it be that we brought a whole squad of bombers? I think that's us. Awesome. But I think that's also one of the things that he said in one of his videos that I wanted him to say again for this one. McKnight gets away with this. Talisman, I just took control of our airport from the Estovakians. The battle for Ameria has just begun. Where have you been for the last four missions? The engine managed to get us this Where has he been since the beginning of the game? We've been fighting for Ameria since they showed up in Grace Mary. No, it's just begun. Uh, Sam Regal, you didn't deserve this writing. You did not deserve this writing, though. No. Machine gun fire. Then how are you still alive? Machine gun fire caused the last car we saw to explode. Inconsistent cutscene physics are inconsistent. This is an order of deployment. What do you call the last eight missions, then? Uh, Once the tankers are positioned in front of the craft to refuel it, the Igion's radar signals are temporarily weakened. While the Igion is being refueled, the more like its radar is almost completely orders. unable to detect any type of movement in front of the craft. Sure, that explains why the Igion can't detect us, but what about the Gaijus Kodos or the tankers themselves? <laughs> How? Those no engines question. are massive, and half of these strigates are coming in from the sides. Talisman, it's the Reaper's emblem. Let's pay him. Guys, have you heard the shamrock? Oh, a missile for home defense. <laughs> Seriously, the Ix would have been all over the guy by the time the Marians arrived. Maybe, maybe not. As I mentioned, Cross, in a previous stream, uh, where we're flying right now should be Yuktabanian territory. Like the Jalachi <laughs> Desert. <laughs> yes. Well, no, no, no. not the, Nowhere near that far south. But oh. uh, the, the, the map is all screwed up in six. Um, but, I mean, I honestly don't, as long as it it's not over Yuktabanian territory, I don't think the Yuktabanians would care. No, Raid Optics, that's not the problem. The problem is that in Six's briefing map for this mission, the position of the Glava Islands, where we're flying right now, is so far south that if you transpose it onto the world map, the, like, the Fuscum Sea is not that big. We should be on top of Yuktabanian land right now. This should be land that we're flying over. Yeah, the Fuscum Sea is that I guess nowhere tall, near that big. Tall. It's wide, but not tall. Back once and for all. Except for when they show up again two missions later. Seriously, we're wiping them out every time. Having them pop up again isn't fun. Yeah, um, I'm with you, Sly. This should have been the end of Strigan, and then. Absolutely, it should have been Vampire Team from here on out. And I would have even given them different planes. I would have given them Birkins. I don't team. know about that. I don't mind keeping the same, like, it, it could be a nice, like, you know, yellow throwback, like what they did with the Megalith Squadron. Like, I, I wouldn't mind that, but to call them Vampire Team. Like, and calling give them, them a different team, livery. Just, different livery, different emblem, something. But 
Yeah. Just, just doing stricken team horrors. The like, it, it confuses until everyone. Long range, because they all die until here, it's on its very last legs to actually oh, use Patrick, its trademark in. weapon in its final stand. Launching missile. Don't worry, I'll, I'll take, I'll take up that time. Did I hit it? Yeah. Damage on the command craft. Oh. <laughs> All right. Say your piece. Not this one. Next one. Oh. Okay. F*** you, Lanner. That hit was mine. I didn't see you hit shit just then. Again, Sky Kid, you didn't do that. I did. All right. Go yeah, for so, it. Yeah, so, yeah, what I think happened was that they assumed, maybe rightfully, that a lot of people would end up using Allied Assault, and they made the lines as if you had used Allied Assault to take out the engines, and then earlier with those jammers over Salumna Peak. Uh, I, 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 Here's the thing. I have used Allied Assault on those engines. So it makes sense in that it context, does, because... The line doesn't trigger. I don't think that sounds like a bug or that there was a line on top of it or something like because because when 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 the first set of engines gets destroyed sky kid says something then there's the second like each group of engines gets its own line but if you use allied assault i i know what might have happened is if you use allied assault and all of the engines almost instantly all go away then the lines advance too quickly and can't all play at the same they can't all play um Although no, I, once I, I discovered how effective RCL was, I could just kind of use that again. Well, yeah. Just, uh, um, obviously, you know, we have no idea. Uh, we weren't at Project Aces when they developed Six, so we don't know, and they haven't said anything like this. But my assumption, and I have no way of proving this, is that they wanted to have a conditional line whether you destroyed something or whether Allied Assault destroyed something, but they ended up only being able to do one or the other, so they just did the one where, like, assuming that Allied Assault uh, destroyed. Um, I I would have liked to see, like, a conditional, because that would have that would have explained and made it work a lot better. Kind of like but... how uh, script-wise in Fleet Destruction, Wiseman is supposed to take out the first... Uh... Core, but yes, exactly. if you do it exactly like first, that. then there's a different, slightly different line delivered. I I want to think. I I want to believe. I want to assume the best out of them. I I don't want to believe that they intentionally put that line there to fuck with you, <laughs> like like to 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 claim that Sky Kid or Lan or any of the others got actually any of these kills when you got those kills. Like I don't oh. want to believe. Sly is being uh, well, optimistic about a six. I'm being optimistic about Project Aces being <laughs> decent developers and not complete fucking morons. Well, given they, their they, track record, I, I, I think they are one of the few decent developers left. Yeah, so I, I don't want to believe that they intentionally wanted to fuck with us by putting Lanner's line there. Um, I, I don't know. We don't, we like there's so much about A6's development that we literally have so many questions about and no answers. It, biggest of all, like you know, the Microsoft exclusivity. But I just want to believe that they were constrained from time. Exclusivity. This should have been multi-platform from the beginning. Absolutely, we would not be, or we wouldn't have been in the situation that we were if this was on the PS3 as well. This game would be a lot more beloved if it was. Wasn't Connor just a producer? I don't know if it... they. It's a it's a very Japanese development thing where they will rotate uh, the people that are in charge of specific games, um, because like four had a different director than five, which had a different director from zero, which had a different director from six. Like they don't like to have a single person responsible for the an entire franchise historically recently that has changed uh because the way that americans produce games has kind of bled into the japanese industry a little bit but historically for japanese for better or worse yeah yeah um uh, 
but historically, uh, Japanese devs don't like to keep the same guy on, like, as the the one person running everything, because they like to keep things fresh. They like to keep things moving. Um, Kono was involved to some extent on all of the games as, like, part of Project Aces, but he wasn't... He wasn't in a head position with six. Um, a producer right, would be. I know it's late for you. Thanks for <laughs> trying night, to Nicola. be here. Have a good sleep. No, Kona wasn't in a leader leadership position on this one. He was only five and Assault Horizon, and Assault Horizon specifically because he was asked to be. Uh, um, Ray, the um, the fact that the PS3 came out know. later isn't necessarily they could have made it multi-platform after the 360 release like they did with uh, a lot of people were expecting that seven because seven at first came out for uh ps4 and xbox one then it was ported to steam and then just recently ported to the switch although the steam release was weird because that was just two weeks later we still don't know exactly why that was like I think they said it was for optimization, which I totally believe because PC optimization is a bitch. But um, you, you, no, uh, Kona wasn't in a leadership position with Six. Uh, most of the people that are in leadership positions now, including Kona, uh, were not. But but again, like they shifted all the time, so it like that's not why Six was the way it was. Like n none of that had anything to do with anything. Um, the assumption is just that Microsoft paid them. Because other Bandai Namco games, including Idol Master, were exclusive to Xbox 360, which is very stupid for a PlayStation-owned territory. Um, Although we did get the Idol Master skins for Six, which let's just say they make the gameplay interesting. <laughs> yeah, but then we got them again for Assault Horizon Infinity, which you yeah, know, but they means didn't have their then. fun quirks. They 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 had them. They were just a lot more tampered down. The A10 didn't go sideways. Oh, we didn't have the A10 after that. The A10. Was... Well, we had the B2 though. The A10 was in Assault Horizon. I mean, we didn't have the A10 skin. No. Oh. Because the A10 skin was a celebration of all of them. It's a combination of all the idols. Yeah, that's right. Assault Horizon didn't have a skin for that, but Infinity skin for that was on the B2, which is fucking hilarious. The most pink so... B2 that ever existed. Soul Fears, the idol master. <laughs> Real men have uh, or fly uh, anime waifu raptors. Real men flew the B2 Idolmaster. <laughs> anyway. If you didn't fly the Idolmaster B2, then Back you're not a real Ace Combat fan. May you rest I didn't, in I didn't quiet fight. slumber. What? Does every Estovakian carry around a goofy briefcase? That's one briefcase? of my favorite moments in this video. Now that he has been promoted to captain of the Strigan team. What a waste of a character. This is a perfect example. Who? Pasternak so, or Wojciech? Uh, Pasternak. Um, I was gonna say Bo. That one is a direct reference to May. Um, years before she and I met. Um, on her Tumblr, she put this... Uh, uh, she she drew some art of uh, Pasternak. Well, well, when when Pasternak showed up, she drew art of her like persona, like her OC, like her her eyes perking up, like whoa, hello. And then it says Captain of the Strigan Team, and then she just gets deflated. <laughs> so th that that was a that was a that was a cheeky reference to her. All <laughs> of how the operation system can be super annoying. How would you evade triggering Windhover's operation here? In the op that operation's defense, Windhover's operation cannot fail. I don't care. That 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 doesn't matter. When when this when this is even possible, and when this is possible in other situations, especially Grace Maria, a couple of those operations are really right on top of each other, especially yeah, over the are. bay. So. No, I, I, like, this was the best way for me to uh, show that, especially because it happened in Ace Combat fans' gameplay. So. <laughs> Fair enough. Fighter jets diving into tunnels. That's never been done before. <laughs> no one can stop us now. 
No one can stop us now. You guys are going to regret those words and you know it. <laughs> the game director told Tosha, carry around a whole bag full of apples. It'll make you look like even more of an asshole. This is a cinema This is my joke. girl. No matter how bad things may look down here, we will not be defeated with me and this baby. First off, that's cheating on Ludmilla. <laughs> Second, it's an Su-33. The same aircraft I've shot down a couple dozen times with the Strigan name. Sorry, but you're nothing special. And yet, he's the only Strigan team member that lives. He never gets shot down. Tosha, give me one of those apples you have there. Then go have a dance with the angels, will ya? Hey, Tosha, <laughs> as your CO, I'm ordering you to hand okay. over food you have rightfully purchased for your own personal consumption. Now, how about you go and fuck yourself? <laughs> See, he gets it! <laughs> Tosha. I know, but it's I'm just a <laughs> You better learn more control than that if you want to impress your sweetheart. Call me old-fashioned, but I don't see how throwing apples makes the woman fawn. At least I have a sweetheart to speak of, sir. <laughs> he literally dumped on his CEO. <laughs> the game director told Pasternak, talk while biting on an apple. It'll make you look like even Again, more of an asshole. Reference. If he was serious enough... And I was a woman? I would probably fall for him myself. That's heteronormative. Foreshadowing. I'll be relaying orders to you from now on. Then what do you call the last 10 missions? One of my favorite uh, YouTube comments um, was uh, on, on that uh, scene with Pasadena Tosha. Um, when, when Tosha says, like, if I fall for it myself, uh, if I was a woman, uh, someone, someone said, holy Freudian slip, Batman. Sly, that scene was just as heteronormative as Top Gun's volleyball scene, and you know it. No, but, no, the, the <laughs> fact that he said it out loud, that he'd have to be a woman to fall for him, like, that's the heteronormative part. Um... I was gonna. Oh yeah, the 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 last ten missions sort of thing with the briefing guy. Um, oh god. The only thing I can think of to explain it is the briefing guy must have multiple personalities. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll I got. I'm to you from now on. Not the other guy in my head. <laughs> this voice in my head, which you've never heard before. <laughs> That, that's really all I get. I'm sorry. Yes, of 150 is really slow in the air. Are they flying Cessnas? Number five, what are you doing? You're the MVPR. I'm trying to support planes right in front of you. Whoa, that's obscure. Usually, Ace Combat refers to IFF for identification, not NCTR. No wonder Estovaki is losing this war. They're not using proper standards. It's a dance for the angels. Well then, how about you tell him to get in a fucking plane? This one. The rodent team, that's an Get in the fucking so, plane! Shit. So, so, Tomcat, uh, I, I told him that that, th that one is the one that I remember that he's, he always, like, not always, though. No. I always remember that he said that once in one of his videos. And he told me that he has no recollection of saying that. <laughs> when I asked him to say that for the video. But, so I'm going to have a little bit of a rant myself at this part coming up. I think I've said it in some of my um, streams of this mission, but yeah. Order, cease fire and withdraw from it's the airspace right space immediately. Game doesn't allow me to follow my orders when I actually want to. Ghost Eye, what the hell do you know about losing a family member? I'll take whatever the hell action I see fit. With this line, Shamrock is now the worst allied character in Ace Combat, choosing to ignore his own country's military for what? I mean, you could say the same thing about Pixie, but at least we could shoot him down later. I would shoot down Shamrock right now and retreat if I could. That's not how radios work. Okay, so my rant on this is I would have written it completely different. Um, I would have had, um, the initial vampires, um, jump you, 
you get the order to retreat. A return line set up that's, you know, highlighted like it was in Invasion of Grace Maria. You go over, and then a second wave of vampires come in to block the retreat. And then, because your retreat is now cut off, you have to fight your way through. And then Ghost Eye could say, like, okay, fine, you're allowed to engage these guys, just get your asses back to base. Like, the, the, the that, whole, that like, way having can... Shamrock... I mean, that Go way ahead. you can get your Strigan slash vampire fight and still technically not be disobeying orders. Is this, this whole section, like insults the player because like the, the, like we haven't done i don't we don't disobey direct orders very often in ace combat and when we do it's only for a very good reason when it's very clear that the order is so stupid um in this instance it's like clearly there's some intelligence clearly we've been ordered to retreat for some reason and the game's just not letting us. Like it's it's very insulting to the player to to but write it must. this way. I I I really would have rather like what you describe is absolutely the perfect way to fix this mission. Uh, th th as it's written, as this stands right now, this is one of the most insulting moments in all of Ace Combat to the player. The only thing I can think of for why Talisman stays in the fight is. To support Shamrock. Yeah, you support your wingman. Um, yeah. But um, and, and, it, and it might have been also he... for a plot device, so you could get in trouble, so you could be sent in. But alone that's the for thing. The next mission, I but... no, but sending sending alone is like you could ju you could so easily just excuse that by saying like. A, a large squadron flying through a canyon would be easily detected. Oh, I know. We're just gonna send, like it's we and we do that. We like in in seven, like it's. I'm not saying uh, it's a good plot mechanic. I'm. But it's I'm not. I'm not defending it. I'm just saying that's probably what they were thinking. And but. I don't like as, as a human being, like you can't blame Shamrock his feelings. No. Like he's as, as especially as as a father. Like, thinking that you're so close and this unit is in your way, take them down. Like, it, like that's not wrong. It's just the, like, it, 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 it makes him stupid. It makes him single-minded when up until this point, like, he was fighting for that. He was fighting for his wife and his, and his daughter, but it didn't... He wasn't blinded by that. This blinds him by that. This this changes his character into someone that's like one dimensional cardboard. Do anything possible to just finish the game. Like he wasn't about that before. He was like you know riffing with the boys and all that stuff before. Like and enjoying the 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 fights before. Like it was it was never like this. Yeah. This was contrived. Yeah, I. Like, 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 as the player, like, we're obviously, we're obviously put here to support him, but this, that, like, having to do that is, no, it, I, I don't know, like, you know, again, I want to believe, I want to give Project Aces the benefit of the doubt, but this is one of the worst written things in Ace Combat, and I, I feel like either this was the first draft and it just never got workshopped again, or time constraints or something. I want to believe the best in them, but this is so bad. Yeah. This is why uh, Moloch Desert is my second least favorite mission in Ace Combat 6. The only reason why it's uh, higher than Mitoze is um, I don't fall asleep in Moloch <laughs> Desert. No, you still have to keep your... It's still a stricken fight. Like... Yeah. And if you're not having QAMs, good luck. If you don't have QAMs, if you don't have a CFA, like, this The Palash mission is never brought up again. Go! 
The Joint Chiefs of Staff have ordered us to temporarily halt the advance of all forces. This order is part of a high-level strategy. The high-level strategy where you get two aircraft to blow up the WMD catalyst? There is no way a decorated soldier like Wojciech would unlatch his handcuffs to realign one crooked painting in this mess of a throne room. OCD. But of course, we need to advance the plot, so there he goes. After lecturing Pasternak to hold on to his baggage, I feel like a damned hypocrite. Pointing it out doesn't make it any less <laughs> sin-worthy. Street children have turned this rotting underground passage into a hideout. I guess that explains how they eluded security forces during the sweep. No, it doesn't. You found the underground entrance pretty easily. Why couldn't the security forces? Garuda team? I've got some good news. Because the security forces the didn't give a shit. used as a catalyst for their Doesn't WMD matter. is being transported to our shores from the Estevakian kind of mainland. Suite? How is that good news? Someone misspelled Rosgris. We'd like to call it our tactic for pre victory. I call it get on with the damn briefing. <laughs> We've determined that a high-risk mission of this magnitude could not be executed by anyone other than Garuda team. It's been less than 24 hours since you revoked our qualifications for active military service. Less than 24 hours since we disobeyed direct orders. And you're reinstating us for a simple anti-ground sweep. What kind of military professionals are you? Beginning attack on the enemy's WMD they catalyst. They did not Fly deserve low. to win this war. What death scream are you talking about, Ray? God. Also, um... I've said it before, I'll say it again. The American military won the war in spite of their high command. <laughs> the, the, in spite? In, like, big, bold letters, neon, blinking from a skyscraper, in spite. Um, so, the American military deserved to win the war. Um... American intelligence and the American Joint Chiefs of Staff do not. They can go kick rocks. Uh. No, they literally have eaten rocks. That's. <laughs> it's OC I... against America. Um, just actually, no, military don't. wise. Uh... Wait, no, don't, because actually, actually, OC and intelligence is no better. Never mind. <laughs> Unlike most canyon runs, we're never actually given the safe altitude threshold. We're only called aces when people need us to bail them out. We're not a couple of private dancers for the military, you know. You're a soldier. That's exactly what you are. Technically, you're just as bad, Ghost Eye. I can't believe you've got the nerve to try and join up with us again. Unlike you, he's doing Aces his job. Back. He's not trying to join up with you. You're all soldiers it, in the same military. This is exactly like why this is a this is character assassination on the highest level. Shamrock never talked like this. He never no. like nothing in his character ever implied anything like this. Um I do love the line out of completely out of context. Uh we're only called aces when people need us to bail them out. Like I I do that, love that, that makes line. Makes sense. I can see it say well, I, I just love that line in general. Like, that's a very good line, especially in Ace Combat. Um, but it is so, so mind-numbingly stupid, this whole sequence. Like, this should, this should never have existed. Especially since, um, again, there's no lore to support this, but um, how do you think... The rest of the American military figures out where you are. Yeah, your because your assumption is that Ghost Eye tells them. High command ain't tell them shit. They expect no. you to die. Um, High command doesn't know what the hell they're doing. It's fucking Ghost Eye. Ghost Eye's the only one that could have told them, hey, these guys are in trouble. The uh, They got the catalyst. Send in the cavalry, boys. My only, like, my only problem with that head cannon is that that's a lot of cavalry to send in within, like, three minutes. Um, 
like how close we don't we don't exactly know how close Amaria is to this. Uh, assuming that they did get the Moloch Desert, uh, they are actually pretty close. But launching all those fighters all at once is like, I I I tend to think of it more like um, Solitaire in Five, where they were basically on standby. Um, again, I don't know, but obviously High Command probably not responsible whatsoever. Oh, yeah. uh, but I, I don't want to... The way I think of it is like they were kind of like in Solitary or in Top Gun Maverick Hangman being fueled up yeah, ready yeah, to go yeah, exactly. on the catapult ready to launch. Um, was he on the catapult? Yeah, he was on catapult before. Because I, I, I could have sworn that he was uh, like just just like uh, at the... After oh everyone God. else launched, he was on catapult Okay. Uh, for immediate uh, SAR sort of thing. Or um, who is the worst high command? Ocean Marion. As much Amarian, as one hundred percent. I'm it, sorry. It's a Marion because at least the Oceans have story reasons why they're shit. The we the, the Ocea gets redeemed once by David North. Also, I have a head cannon for uh, who's. The new head of OIA in seven pops, pops. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a good headcan, and I do like that. Um, but no, there is no sto story or lore reason why American there's zero, there's zero to support that, but insane, it's good. So it's a Marion. It's Harry Branch. Um, no, I I just like I I don't I don't want to give Ghost Eye the credit for like something that we don't know that he did. Um. But obviously, it was not a Marion High Command. That, that <laughs> as far as they were concerned, they were ready to let Garuda sacrifice themselves. Well, the reason um, why I say it was Ghost Eye because canonically, aside from High Command, there are only three. Who knew people about this? Who knew about it? Yeah, Talisman, who can't say a damn thing because he's fucking mute. Shamrock, who wouldn't do it. Because he doesn't have the ability to. And Ghost Eye, who is tapped in to pretty much the main support network of the Marion Air Force. So why wouldn't he call in the reinforcements? That's kind of what AWACS do. So that's why I had that in hand. I just wish that he had said something like... You know, just hold on a little bit longer, Garuda. We've got, or maybe not, maybe not outright saying like we've got support coming, but like, well, if, if he said that, that would ruin the suspense. I, anyway, one of my like probably my only issue with this mission is that at the end, like you aren't given any indication that you can survive that. So, fair enough. We're talking about a WMD. Why aren't they in constant contact? Enemy fighter is incoming. This is a manageable number. You just had to say it. <laughs> Karuna team, come in. I'm here for you. This is Avalanche. Karuna team, thought you could use some cover. This is Sky Kids and Karuna team. Looks like we're having your party right here. Stay tuned. I thought this mission was supposed to be top secret. Okay, so... First time you play this mission... When you hear that... Or when over first call over... And then you see... Oh, I got goosebumps. That assault bar go up... And the music start to change... It I got is, goosebumps. It is one of the best written moments in this uh six. It, for front front line when nagase calls out was that the arc bird like it's it's that level of like it, it gives it like there's very few things that give me goosebumps and that this is definitely one of them so like again don't don't, don't assume that like you know i everything that i say in in these videos is because i hate these games obviously i don't um no, I give six. six a lot more respect than I give Joint Assault. Um, 
but yeah, no, th th this is this is a fuck yeah moment. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Except for that. Except for that. Also, we're in an ad break, so... Um, fun. <sighs> but, yeah... Um, it was perfect until Lanner spoke up. I don't have a problem with that line. Because he's not taking credit for one of my kills. What the fuck is the point of the line? No pilot ego. Me in it's pilot ego. It comes issued with the uniforms. It's one of those. You know what it is? It's like, it, it it's one of those uh, fake like feminist lines. Like just completely unnecessary. Does adds and adds nothing to the scene. Like what's what is literally the point? Okay, that's an interesting interpretation, Cross. That's really funny, Cross. <laughs> Lanner only saying in the sky tells me that she sees him on the ground. I mean, <laughs> what what is her relationship with Wendover again? <coughs> uh, she's only getting it from me as a hate fuck. Nothing more. I didn't ask you what you And I'm telling anyway. <laughs> Okay, and we're back. Number seven. Come on, you guys know I had to send that maniacal laughter. What is this kid's face doing? I did hear that line in isolation. <laughs> I did hear that line in isolation without the radio filter. Uh, it does sound like I see this steel door went to the Indiana Jones laughing, School so. of Trap Doors. Yeah. His spouting of cold words used by the American fighter pilots as he takes on the role of a jet himself. Why is Wojciech just carrying around chocolate? A bit hilarious, darkly hilarious. Mm. The kid was like, "But I'm allergic." <laughs> <laughs> I think of that because Wojciech's I'm allergic eyes to just go... candy bars because of nuts. Wojciech's eyes just go red, and he's like, "I know." <laughs> Wojciech wouldn't assassinate kids by poisoning them with. Not lace chocolate. Why not? It would give him a few points in my book. <laughs> Wait, checks an honorable person. You are already dead. She proudly sings a song that was sung by her nation's pilots. Fuck's sake, is this song the only song that Amerians know? Yes! Even with my crippled. <sighs> I feel as though I could dance the night away with an angel. I feel as though I could fuck myself. These children were hiding their treasure, their golden king, protecting it at all costs. They're just children. How the hell did they move a statue made of gold out of the throne room, down the stairs, through the hallways, and onto the raised barrels it sits on? Well, the legend does say that it's not actually a statue, it's armor. So maybe they took it down piece by piece. And rebuilt it perfectly? They're kids! Hey! Kids can build models! What if one of them's, like, a, a model savant? Who knows? You're telling me that, that, that one of those kids is, like... A, a, a rest, re, rest, restoration expert on, on medieval armor? Why not? It's a lot more believable than children bringing down a solid gold statue. Either way, it's not believable. <laughs> As we walked the long road, Ludmilla and I came across an unusual tank. 
Oh, for the love of... Their conveniences conveniently continue. Also, another sin, they're not walking. They're riding. They said as we were walking, they came across the tank. That's not... That's fine. Why don't you ladies go on ahead? Now, please excuse us while we leave you stranded in the middle of a forest. Good luck. Bank job, boys. Why are you encouraging them to steal from your own bank? Because they're the ones Have a nice dance with the angels dance. now. This is the last battle. You've jinxed it again. Try not to hit the bridge, Talisman. It's the pride of our city. Oh, come on, you two. Pick one, the Dinky Bridge or the Golden King. Also, which bridge? There's like 12 of them in this map. <laughs> oh god, great optics. Oh my god. I don't remember that either, but the thought. The game allows this to happen twice, so I'll sit it twice. Shoot down the enemy's electronic support plane. Uh, I just did. Avoid engagement and fly as far as your fuel allows. I will handle the Garuda team. What? You can't be serious! Tosha is the only Strigan who speaks out against Passer Next Plan. Besides, half the female population is waiting for your return. Wait, so are you saying there's only... <laughs> hold on. Three, four, kind of... Twenty-two females left in Estabakia? <laughs> Also, um, only one Strigan actually takes up Pasternak on his offer. <laughs> the rest fly to their doom later on. Well, technically they do fly as far as their fuel allows. It's just that... Not the direction uh, that Pasternak was hoping they would. They do it first. I don't think Pasternak intended for them to surrender. No, he intended for him to live. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the more important thing. I just don't know that he intended for them to like, <coughs> surrender or defect or anything like that. No, but he didn't intend for them to go to Chandelier. No, no, he did not intend for them to go to Chandelier. That's that, what that's I mean. That's definitely... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to... I am shutting down communications. It's not over yet. Down it's not over yet, cliche. Squad. No, 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 stop, because we, we, we get this a little bit clearer with other games. He has clearly opened up his communications to, to open broadcast. That is not shutting down communications. The I if think, the rest of Shrigan was... I, I, I think if the rest of Japanese to English translation thing. I'm pretty sure the English one was meant to be... Um, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> Pretty much like, uh, go dance with the angels, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Ross is like, Can I say, just have an issue if he's everything wrong with videos? I mean, uh, Ross uh, Riders, it, it listen, it's fine because I the reason that I even started making these was because I love the Cinema Sins videos. For when, when I watch a movie that I enjoy, I go to Cinema Sins to watch them tear it to shreds because I love that kind of sarcastic dry humor it, it 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 i breathe i live and breathe that kind of humor so that's why i i n these videos didn't exist for ace combat so i figured okay i'll just make them myself uh i love the ace combat series none of these are actually my like opinions to to, to an extent um but if it's not your kind of humor then you know i the you know it, these videos don't have to be for you like it's just that it's my kind of humor, so I wanted this kind of video. And uh, I have a very I dry, sarcastic, morbid sense of humor as well, so... Um, I get a lot of comments of, like, oh, Cinema Sins is boring, they're, they're such a waste of breath that we have to deal with these for Ace Combat. I'm like, if you don't like it, just don't watch it. Like, it's... You don't have to watch every video on YouTube. <laughs> No, it's um, fine, Ross Riders. It's fine. The, the The fact that you're being open and like, 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 just discussing it is perfectly fine because people have legitimately attacked me for making these videos at all. I'm like, guys, I love Ace Combat. I help with the wiki. Like, what? 
<laughs> you don't just help that you run the damn thing. I don't run it. I I, I have watched a few cinema wins uh, across, but uh, it it's like it's it's a lot less humorous because it is just kind of like you know just pretty much saying all the good things about about the stuff. So. Um, yeah, um, and I've s stated that uh, this is both my favorite and least favorite one of his. <laughs> Favorite because I it, it's a six and a six is my favorite game in the series. At least favorite because it's fucking a six. <laughs> I never. I was. I haven't either. I was asked by someone if uh, they could do uh, everything great with or everything great about uh, like Cinema Wins does for uh, Ace Combat. And I told them like, guy, I I don't, I don't have any like copyright on this. Like, go ahead. I'm, like, th these videos already take so much out of me. Doing everything great about is just, it's so much effort. Besides, um, we're dead inside, so we can't be positive. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to, but I I just it's it's hard enough making these videos. Ah. I'm looking at Dartigan's channel. Uh, they they also they do a bunch of everything wrong with uh, video games. Uh. What are you talking about? I think you like my wife's key. Is that a euphemism? And don't forget about Nugget <laughs> is convinced it's a euphemism. It's it, it, he won't it, let it fucking go. It's so funny. It's so funny. Okay for my daughter. Given his daughter's ultimate fate, maybe a bouquet isn't such a bad idea. God damn it, Sly. I, 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 like, like, like do you have any idea how many comments also I get about, like, wow, half of this video is just him, his making his own jokes. Like, there's, it's not something bad with the game. I'm like, you guys have not seen Cinema since, have you? <laughs> no. Apparently. That's one of my favorite jokes. Look at this. They're even admitting there's nothing honorable about what they're doing. These guys are absolute crooks. Wait, if they're in the room with the Golden King, where are Wojciech and the kids? I must ask again, how the hell did you move a solid gold statue? At least this time they had soldiers. Yeah, but still. The people are learning to smile again. Especially his Have wife's these people cross. ever heard a different song in their mm -hmm. lives? Mm -hmm. Say what you will, but that has a brilliant PR. Sitting the Golden King on top of a fucking tank and parking it outside the palace. 100%. Yeah, his giant cock just pointing right at the civilians. <laughs> you don't have to say it like that! Am I wrong? Look at him! It's hanging out there. Uh, Ross Ryder, if you want to sit through a playthrough of A6, um, stick around. I'm going to be playing a lot of A6 here pretty soon. Um, I do a lot of... <laughs> Thanks for giving me a terrible impression of Disney story. Well, um, <laughs> A6's wrong... cutscenes are not at strong point. I am the wrong person to ask about giving a good impression of Six's story. <laughs> I do have a canon run playthrough of A6 on my YouTube archive. Oh, 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 Ross Rogers is saying the TV tropes gave him a bad impression. Oh. Well, no, TV tropes is like, it, it, tropes aren't bad. It's just no, showing examples of tropes being used. It's the, the, the use of tropes is not a bad thing. And one of their things for the heartwarming, they mix it with awesome moments. And that was the um, weapons of mass destruction, where every pilot you helped came out to bail you out. In yeah. A gigantic gunship rescue or big damn heroes moment. Or in this case, big damn cock. Dance with me. It's sorry to right make this after. request after all you've done, but I'd like you two to patrol the outskirts of the capital. On the same damn day? Jeez, it's not like we're exhausted from a massive air and ground war just hours ago. 
They do. This thing so. isn't quite over yet. It's not over yet cliche. Again. Apology not accepted. After this mission, <laughs> I want both of you to take two weeks off. Go home and relax with your families. Man, this is the worst line to say right now, given what Shamrock is about to tell us. Twist line. There's a twist that night, just a tiny okay, bit. Okay, it's deeper. actually really effective that this is the first time since the first mission that Shamrock doesn't talk in the hangar. It's very I'll awkward. knock off a sin for that. Yeah, uh, that is the first clue you have that something is wrong. But this is my point, like, especially with Six. Show, don't tell. That was effective storytelling right there. And, um, I will, uh, people will give Shamrock, uh, shit a lot for his character. But anybody that gives shit to Shamrock in this mission, I will fight. Because Sam Regal nailed the performance. 100%. Shamrock's character isn't the problem. It's a lot of the writing that was given to him. It's basically like in Star Trek Voyager with Janeway. The, a lot of people's problem with her wasn't necessarily Janeway herself. It was the inconsistent way she was written. Mm. Men and women of our armed services, have you reunited I like with the your loved ones yet? Sticking that knife even deeper. <laughs> <laughs> This is Ace Combat. This mission isn't going to end without a missile being fired somehow. What an awesome view. Only war pilots like us get to see fireworks in the Technically, there's been three missions in Ace Combat's history that ended without a missile from the player being fired. From the Fi player? Final option, solitaire, and reprisal. <laughs> All three of them were in five. <laughs> yep. What does that say about it? Reprisal doesn't count because you do launch ammunition. But you said missile. You have yeah, but you have dispersal, canisters, and guns. Yes, but still, that's we have missions where you have to fire only guns. Like that, I don't count that. I did say missile in this instance. Yes. I'll take another. Yes. yes, there was Ross Ryder. There was. But technically, you can, if you play that mission in co op, the other three players can still fire their missiles. So. Yep. And it's a lot easier if it's in co op because they can go and kill it's everything. It's much easier for in co op. Sitting off for that incredible view. This is Sky King. I'd just like to say, mission accomplished. The fireworks were just going to be blown up. Is that you? <laughs> Bad idea. No one wants to watch you sticking up the sky, Avalanche. Come on, Shamrock, get the stick out of your butt. It's not like your wife's dead already. Oh. What I like about that line is you can tell by Regal's inflection that he's trying to put up the facade of everything's okay. I'm still yeah. the same playful person, but you can tell it's a strain. It's a facade. It's just another clue that, no, something's wrong. That, that sin, uh, the one that's on screen, I'm a little, like, I'm much more iffy about this one. I, I think I would have done a lot less of the humor. Now, if I redid this, I would do a lot less of the humor, because uh, th th that line was really good. It's just that I do kind of, I what I would sin is that he never even apologizes for that later. There's a couple arguing at the foot of the king's bridge. Although they do rip them back, so. How could you tell there are two people there? And how could you tell they're arguing? I mean, I can tell that there's two people there, but I'm deliberately disobeying the order of don't fly between buildings and the bridge. Oh. <laughs> you have to fly real damn close to see people down there. I'm fucking Maverick! I'm doing a flyby! Gears of War reference. Don't you ever check your radars or satellites? Yeah, but notice that I didn't send hey, anything hey, because, uh... Uh, I'm Alphonse. 
Top fighter attacks. Can anyone out there provide support? I'll head over there. Just watch me hold those suckers back. Windhofer doesn't do shit, and the stealth fighters will destroy your ground forces if given half a chance. An angel does Okay. I'm gonna disagree with Tomcat on one technicality. He's correct that the ground forces don't do shit. He's also correct that Windhover doesn't automatically target the cruise missiles. But Windhover is still part of Allied support if you call them in to either cover your ass or attack the cruise missiles, they will do it, but you have to actually activate Allied Again, support. it's one of those things that I like it's it's a conditional uh it it it's a technicality. But I just want it to be accurate. And yes, this isn't Prospera. You can actually shoot down all the missiles. All 99 of them. Doesn't turn in his wings until after his last dance, right? Why is Melissa's husband's face never shown? Wojciech, are you really going to sit here and let the sky fall down on these people? This is my absolute favorite moment in Ace Combat 6. It's a great The moment. general story is complete crap, but Wojciech's character arc and his final decision here is so well framed. He deserves a few sins off just on his own. And the reason why that line is so effective is because Wojciech did watch the sky fall down on his people. Yeah. This is the weapon that's moving towards the city as we speak. Chandelier is stuck in place. It's not moving at all. I have been TCP corrected SSH on this. What? What? Somehow, against all knowledge of physics, even Ace Combat physics, Chandelier is moving towards Grace Maria. It's yeah. mobile. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> how the else do you think they turn? Is mobile. How else do you think they aim the damn thing? Oh, I didn't think they. I genuinely don't, didn't and don't think they aim it. I think that like the Staro shells, like once they detonate, like the cruise missiles then guide themselves toward their targets. Chandelier Which wasn't also, originally you know, pointing at Grace Mary. It was originally pointed up at Ulysses. We don't know that. We don't know that. Especially if you look at to, the way... That's what it was built for. Well, partially. I know that's what it was built for. <coughs> I, I, I know. But if you if you look at the way that it's constructed with those pillars, like trying to hold the damn gun up, it's very clear that it was like haphazardly put together to, to, even, to even point at Grace Mary in the first place, to even point up whatsoever. Yeah, Chandelier, I mean, remember, it wasn't. It wasn't finished. Is Stonehenge 2.0. It's actually more like Estevakia's Ulysses weapon. Um, R Ross Riders is right, though. It, it's more like Stonehenge 0 0.2 <laughs> or 0 0.02. Would the game's dynamic be different if Melissa's husband slash Gruta 3 wasn't cut? I mean, so. We're I've talking never about heard a that different Melissa's game. husband was Gruta 3. I've always in the box art in the box art for Ace Combat Six. There's three Garuda planes, not two. Um, hmm. but uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the plane that he was flying was a, a Super Hornet, not a yeah. Strike Eagle. Um, and Garuda is a Marian Air Force, not a Marian Navy. So, like, we we don't know how early on we don't know if he ever was Garuda Three. Um, it's just something that the fans have kind of linked together. I actually uh, would put him in the avalanche. Like the the fact that there probably was a Garuda three at one point in development, and Melissa's husband being there and being killed, like the fans just put them together, assuming that he's Garuda three. But we well, don't actually know that. When you start there, there's not even Garuda two. No, yeah, there is no Garuda technically. Um, Garuda is a team of one. We don't know why. But um, Talisman's the only Garuda at the beginning of the game. 
which it's also possible that for some reason whoever designed the box art just did not know that it was a two two team flight but that wouldn't make any sense two to three conflicts between discovery the asteroid and a different planet um yeah the usian coup d'etat no that's uh, it and the scully islands or did that take place at the same time as zero Okay, we're we're starting to uh we're starting to decouple the Scully Islands insurrection from air yeah. combat because it there's there's nothing that proves that that they're yeah. that they're one and the same. Um, yeah. but if they are one and the same, uh, I mean then yeah, but also the the asteroid wasn't announced to the public until 1996. So. So. <laughs> If Sierra went the wrong way, that could be bad. <laughs> yeah. Or 22 but that's open. why, like, a lot that of people implies that think Wojciech that... has shell uh, access that's why everyone's incorrect if they think that Excalibur was for uh, Ulysses, because it wasn't. No, but uh, if... If uh, a world of no boundaries got their way, uh, things would have been... Nothing would have changed. No, nothing would have changed as far as, uh, as far as Ulysses is concerned. There wouldn't be any countries Except, to build Stonehenge. No, they were only targeting Ocean countries. The V two was only targeting uh, Ocean countries. And Southern Yuzio was trying to get in bed with Osea. I guess in a post, <laughs> I guess in a post Belkin War world where we're with no boundaries, one, if they had continued to. Uh, continued spreading their influence and maybe and even if they weren't the collapse of a superpower like Ocean would oh, have... that would destabilize the world for sure yeah and who's to say that the FCU could even afford to build Stonehenge that would be an interesting thing to explore what anyway, if V2 was successful we're getting way off topic <laughs> Yeah, way off topic. I'm sorry. Anyway, yeah, Chandelier for some reason is moving and I hate it. <laughs> Chandelier's computer system so, so at this if, moment. If I redid this video, I would still keep that sin. I would just say, how the hell is Chandelier moving? Engines. Ignoring the it's possibility stupid. that he may have full access to Chandelier, where is he getting internet access right now? Wi-Fi. System, ventilation, fire control, electrical supply, and maintenance are all off. Which makes you wonder how the hell Chandelier functions at all right now. Pure hate rage. I'll be relaying orders to you. Unlike the last 14 missions, of course. <laughs> Chandelier is located right at the Rosgris Straits, but no one makes mention of the legendary fairy tale. About 15 years ago. Holy shit, I stand corrected. <laughs> the war 15 <clears throat> years ago. 15 years ago. Also, exposition. Skip. Ah, oh, crap. The cutscene characters are bleeding into the gameplay. <laughs> and how is Ameria <laughs> civilian radio station transmitting this far north into Estabakia? Pirate radio. No, that doesn't explain anything. Data received. And how could a radio station send blueprints to an E-767? All blades, let's move out. Dakota 2, Roger. I have a bone to pick with the soundtrack here. I know most of this game's soundtrack is supposed to be atmospheric, so it's not as banging as the PS2 trilogy, but Chandelier is a huge wasted opportunity. I love this track, but it just doesn't fit for a massive super weapon battle. Ace Combat 4 did it better by using Heaven's Gate only for the final part of the mission. That's what should have been done here, too. Okay, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Um, you're, you're free to. I... I, I totally get how, how it's done right now. I a just lot think of that it people be assume, because this has been brought up a lot before, a lot of people assume that Shane Lear doesn't fit because this is Amarius Triumph. No, Amarius Triumph was the liberation of Grace Maria. Yes. This is the funeral dirge for Estevaki. That's why it sounds so. Um, well, dirgy. It, it's My, not supposed to be triumphant. It's 
it's uh and if you pay attention this is basically the Estevakian's theme um that it's just got lyrics to it oh and another ad break god how many ad breaks has it been what i would what i would say is that you're not wrong and like Reasonable minds can disagree about this because this is this in the end this was an artistic choice. Um so I, I'm I'm not saying that this was wrong. I'm just saying I I think I would have preferred. Uh because you're right that it's a funeral dirge, but I think like because we had Grace Mary a patrol. I think what we could have done here was to have some kind of like a, like some kind of song that captured the feeling of Estevakia's attempt to come back from the brink. But then transition into the funeral dirge once it's once it's discovered that it's like no, uh, that's it. You it's it's over. Um, but um, I I I think I think what Ross is saying is that uh, it's not the ad break isn't actually happening because Twitch is lying when it says it's taking an ad break. Uh, I think it's streamer is taking an ad break. I'm not technically taking an ad break. Twitch is taking. Oh, Twitch an ad is break. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so I, again, it's an artistic choice. I don't, I don't dislike it. Like I, I love the track. I love the track a lot, and it does fit with with like just everything here. This is very. You're right. It's fu funeral dirge for days here with all the environment and everything. Like it. 100%. Uh, I just would have liked something a little bit more than this for at least the first part of this where there's so many targets to deal with. Also, the uh, first uh, uh, the, the cutscene where it, all the targets start popping up. Very good. Holy shit, that was great. Yeah. Uh, Another goosebump. Um, I know they don't say this in the game, but when you see the two Gerudo planes dive in, and Matilda's like, "Good luck, game." Please everyone. be careful, everyone. Um, Omega Eleven, who did a tribute to um the main numbered Ace Combat, um. Yeah, pretending that all the place, all the player aces were showing up at the lighthouse. Yeah, he synced up this. Uh, well, no, it, it was um, it it was just a tribute set to um, Blue Skies Infinity Rooms. But when it got to oh, that, that was the idea that they were all showing up at lighthouse. I think no, that this was just showing clips from their games. Uh, oh. But when they got to um, Talisman, it showed that scene of them going down to attack Chandelier. But instead of hearing Melissa, you heard Shamrock going, May the Golden King smile upon us. And I just thought to myself, that is a perfect time to say that fucking line! It would have been a perfect bookend. <laughs> so, I'd like to add a sin for that. Uh, I can link it in the Discord because it's a great video. It's, I think, one of my favorites. Those huge missiles are being carried to a gun to the gun barrel. If you let too many Star Wars shells go through, you fail the mission because Grace Maria is destroyed. It is um, eight shells for easy through ex or through hard, six for expert and ace. That's fine, but the game doesn't mark those shells as TGTs. Take out those cruise missiles before they get demoted. What's Mobius doing here? That monster's got a backup unit, an extra cooling unit. One backup cooling unit I is know. somehow enough to cover 12 other cooling units. I know it's dangerous. I, I get it. But it's time for me to dance with the angels. I'm up there. Just a little further. Gotcha. 
What was the point of this besides to kill off Shamrock? He didn't even try firing on the cooling unit, he just wanted to look at it. I'm losing Frost, but maybe I won't need it. Let's see what on, these angel that wings can do. No, that's not, that's not excusable. Um, Ross, there, there's no such things as Wizzos and Rios <laughs> in Ace Combat. Um, you, they're just You do not see them, they do not exist. <laughs> They're just statues. Yes, 100%. This is a 100% stupid sacrifice. Well, Damn, that was actually an emotional death. I won't sin or anything, I just wanted to signify that it- Shamrock! Respond! Marcus! Marcus! And moment ruined. What makes it worse is when you die, he sounds so fucking <laughs> harsh one about it. No, Chopper did, Chopper's death was not a stupid sacrifice at all. It was that doesn't senseless. fit whatsoever. No, it wasn't senseless. It was just... No, it, Chopper didn't sacrifice himself for anything. He got hit during battle. I think the point that it's senseless is he didn't have to go down the stadium with the gun down the river. Well, that's, that's, that's different. Yeah, that, that, that's entirely survive. different, but... Assuming that there was no river there. <laughs> yeah. And how do you suggest we do that in fighter jets? Summon yellow jet. <laughs> the Boltzwood Treaty is never brought up again. Hundreds of miles away from their yellow jackets. They got Cypher too? What kind of party is this? Now that 4, 0, and technically 5 have done this, can we start calling flying next to the AWACS in the ending a cliché? Because I'm calling it a cliché. Fair enough. I never thought in a million years I'd be one of the guys to lose his wings. Wait, who the hell are you? If only my wife and daughter could have joined me to enjoy this. Shamrock? You fucking lived? <laughs> Your plane was damaged and you crashed into a glacier. Ghost Eye lost his cool, and he even had a whole thing about those who gave their lives. And you only lost your legs? I'm off to meet the mother and daughter behind those un- To be fair, at least they did give him some lasting damage. <laughs> he didn't come out of it unscathed. Still... Unforgettable voices from the radio. Fuck. You, <laughs> game, you kill off Melissa's husband, leaving her widowed and Matilda without a father, but you also kill Shamrock's wife and daughter, and now you're having Shamrock meet Melissa and Matilda. The insinuation is clear. Fuck this. I'm out. Game's over. Xbox is awesome. Ten observation craft remaining. These guys are unmanned. Are those drones remote controlled? <laughs> Incoming missile! Twist through it! Oh yeah! Just wing through the missiles! What are you, nuts? <laughs> That's a good one. One boy is called Radio, aptly named considering he never parts with his own. You sure taking a liking to that radio of your own? No. no. Matilda! Jackie! What's in the da? Jackie! What's in the da? Okay, you're gonna have to tell me what that reference is. It's a Japanese Mentos ad. Oh. Well, um, I'm not as angry at Sly as Sly as he is with uh, the Shamrock visiting the war orphans and. Uh, well, I mean, I think it is too soon, but 
Um, it, it doesn't offend me. The one. Wait, I'm sorry. After, what are we talking about? Uh, where Shamrock's at Melissa and Matilda's. I don't. It's just. It's dirty. I'll admit it's too soon. They didn't have to add. Um, it it adds nothing to the uh to the story. But the after, I I guess after credit scene, um, that I uh liked the best was actually the wedding at the DOW. Oh, absolutely. That's why I didn't send that. <laughs> you could have took off a sin. I could have. <coughs> but, you haven't uh, finished the video though. <laughs> Wait, there's another one. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Pilot with the three strikes. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Um but uh now the the main things that I have a problem with Ace Combat Six the story is um aside from just the clear lack of communication of what was going on Jap in you know, Japanese dub team or writing teams and the English localization. Because I think a lot of those dialogue things are just literal translations of things that don't make any sense in yes. English. Um, but I think they waste they they spent too much attention on um m and m melissa matilda um and not enough attention on Wojciech. i don't think Wojciech should have been shot down until mission eight um or not mission eight but mission nine uh the agaya I mean, I guess it wouldn't have worked for him to be there at Grace Maria and build up a rapport with the kids enough to sympathize with the American plight. But they didn't... Re <laughs> it, it just felt like they wasted Voidcheck. Which is why... I Really hope we get a spin-off game where we play the Estevakian Civil War, where we play as Voidcheck. Partly because I want to land on the Agaian, but still, it's, <laughs> it's such an obvious idea. I I just Voidcheck's a great character that they didn't do a lot with. Um, same with Pastor. He's brought in, supposed to be our they number did one rival. And then he shows up for one mission where he dies. I mean, I get it. We um, we didn't want to have the Nosferatu fight until um, Grace Maria. But he should have been in Moloch Desert. As um, I mean, we should have uh, um, that that whole fight should have been rewritten, but he should have been there. Oh. One hundred percent. He should have been leading the charge yeah. against Garuda team. Because that's that, like, his Garuda sole team, reason for Garuda being team. in Ameria. Yeah. Is to shoot down Talisman. So. Why just park his ass in Grace Mary and not order him to, you know, go after him? But, um, so basically what we're saying is Moloch Desert is just a bad mission. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, and there's really only two good operations. Um, the one with clocks to take the airfield and snake pit. Warlocks is way too far away. By the time you get there, unless you start it, it's probably halfway failed. And Hammerhead, there's like three TGTs, and you literally don't need to activate it. It, it will complete itself. So what's the point? 
Um, it, it's just a poorly constructed mission. But uh, other than that, I still maintain that A6 is my favorite game. Um, a lot of that is nostalgia, I'll admit. You're allowed to. <laughs> um, no, listen, you're you're allowed to. Like the the problems with six. The the like the problems with five got ironed out in zero and six. The problems with zero and six could have been ironed out if it wasn't for the fact that six released on the three sixty, and they had to pivot to try to make any kind of money off of Ace Combat after that. Um, and again, we don't know why it was exclusive to the Xbox three hundred and sixty. It's likely that Microsoft paid them, but it didn't work out. Yeah. So. But um, the uh, fuck yeah. Um, but um, with the whole Ace Five versus Ace Six thing, Ace Five has the better story. I'll admit that. Um, it has a lot of world building. Um, it's got a lot of lore um it's 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 not really a comparison that can be made because five five was a vehicle for the story whereas six like was a vehicle six was this yeah it was designed to be replayable given the operations given the assault records given all of that like there's no assault records there's in 5 there's there, you you have the medals but like a lot of those medals can be earned pretty like easily uh except for the grinding ones um and like you you get the second playthrough uh for the alternate missions and then you get the uh aircraft and stuff but like 6 was designed with replayability in mind and for people who consider that like more important like we'll definitely appreciate six more. Um, I still say people... that people six has some of the best gameplay in the series. Um, I know a lot of people say seven does, and seven's gameplay is fantastic. It seven seven has a good foundation. That's that's more important. It just to me feels nerfed <laughs> compared to six. <laughs> It is, but that's why I say it has a good foundation. Because, because seven, the the point of seven from a development aspect was to be able to recreate Ace Combat in a new engine. Um, well, more importantly, they, it was built to revive a dying franchise. Well, yes, but and I, it I mean from a fantastically at that. from a development aspect, like because because six like led into Assault Horizon. Like it wasn't supposed to do that. Assault Horizon was not. We weren't supposed. They never intended for Six's engine to power a game like Assault Horizon, and then for Assault Horizon's engine to power a game like Infinity. That was never the intent of these games. But Seven is clearly built, like, from the ground up to be able to support the next games in in the series. Which you know, now that they're going to Unreal Engine Five, hopefully they'll be able to take a lot from Unreal Engine Four. Um, because they never they never changed engines before, but like each engine was basically handcrafted. Uh, five and zero being the only uh, ones that shared each other. Maybe X and four, but we're not sure about that. Um, no, I, I my problems with six's gameplay boiled down to like that. I feel like the operation system is again again th these are things that could have been solved by a sequel that weren't solved by a sequel because we didn't get a sequel, but like, you know, the operation system I feel like was to, uh, uh, it was too present, uh, a little shallow sometimes made every mission kind of the same, made every mission absurdly long in some cases. Uh, the story is like, not there. <laughs> it's just not there. Um, but it's like I I don't mind playing six. I mind playing joint assault. I hate <laughs> playing that game. This this is not six is not an ace combat game that I hate playing. It's a Just game skip that all I the, the cutscenes. 
it, it's a game that I feel like there's there's that again it 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 comes down to the vocal minorities of the fandom. I just think it's overrated for what it is. Like it's not this like having these big battlefields isn't the complete win that people act like it is. Cuz that comes with its own problems. Yeah. And I'm not pretending that 4, 5 and 0 were perfect games. Of course not. Um I'm just saying that they they are considered the holy trilogy for a reason and it's very important to remember that no one considers a specific game superior above all others except unless you know you're a 6 fanboy or a 3 fanboy or, or something like that but I mean like people call 4 5 and 0 the holy trilogy 6 could have been the start of a second holy trilogy it wasn't because of law but I'm I'm saying it was because of the fucking exclusivity. It was the exclusivity. Exactly. Um, if, if this had was, released well, on PS3, it would have been uh, it would have been regarded a lot better. Uh, it would have been a lot more successful. Hmm. And the trajectory of the franchise would have been far, far different. But uh... Joint Assault was three years after this. Like, that's like we I don't know that we would have even had a joint assault, let I, alone assault a resin. I am very much appreciative of the fact that for a seven, um, if you pre ordered it for the Xbox, they gave you the digital copy of a six um as a pre order bonus. I get it doesn't make much sense from a story perspective because it's not an Ocean title. It's not the a fact Ocean that they title. did it at all. The fact that they did it with five at all, let alone six, is like they gave two free games. I know. I have them both. That's insane. Yeah, I pre-ordered seven for both the Xbox and the PlayStation, even though I was primarily going to play it on the PlayStation. I did it solely for. Uh, well, partly because I want to support um, uh, Project Aces. But mainly because at the time, my 360 was partially red ringing and the CD tray went open and guess where my copy of A6 was. We're almost done. Um, yeah, we're, the, we're, we're, we're wrapping up now. Um, but anyway... There, I think there's two more everything wrong with that you have. That yeah, seven good. and Project Wingman. Seven Project Wingman. So seven will be next. Then Project Wingman. Um, Looking back at six, I I think that I was I'm I'm a little harder on myself than I should be with this video. I do like this video for the most part. It's just a couple of things, especially the chandelier one that I got wrong that. I kind of want to fix, but eh. Well, if you ever intend to redo one of these and you either need gameplay or um, I'd record my own. I appreciate the offer, though. Or, you know, just another shill in the background. <laughs> you, you know who to call. I know. Thank you. And it's not just a six. It, it can be any of them. But anyway, um, I don't know when we'll be able to do this again. Maybe a couple weeks from now. I might we, have. Uh, I'm going to be actually pretty busy next month, so this okay. we may have to put this on pause for, for a month or so. What is your question, Mobius? Also, welcome to the stream. This is your first time chatting this stream. Um, welcome to the end of the stream. <laughs> you guys have the flat freeze five. Uh, I do not, and I don't I intend do. to get it because. While I like the story for East 5, I do not like the gameplay. And I played Ace 5 on stream. Ace um, 
once for stream, never again. And fuck you, Just Sly. get the Falcon. I'm not that good with the TLS. But no, I have serious. I have serious problems with the missile homing in Ace Five. So yeah, no. I will continue to stream Ace Five, but not on Ace. So I will never get the platinum. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead wrap it up. Because I do have um, work tomorrow. Um, I, as soon as both of us are free, we will go for Ace or everything wrong with Ace Seven. Um, and uh, Mobius, uh, the trophy description is wrong. Uh, I have a guide on PSN profiles for the platinum. Um, the Grand Falcon Trophy is asking you to shoot down all of the aces in the entire game. Oh, um, but the the description is misleading. Then I might actually have that, because I have all the colors. But you probably do. Um, anyway, um, thank you all for joining. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, but um, I'm going to go ahead and call a night. Thank you, Sly, for um, jumping in. And, Welcome. Uh, Thanks for having me. Uh huh. Well, it's your video. I figured. <laughs> I figured it'd be better if you were here, and I I do enjoy collabing with you. Whenever we get the chance. <laughs> so um, I will see you guys tomorrow for Final Fantasy X. Uh, Take care and have a good night.